Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 19th of 2023 well, it is titled HH211, Jets from a Forming Star. So what do we see here? Well, here we see is what is known as Herbig Aro 211. And the Herbig Aro objects are actually those bright regions that we see that will actually vary in intensity. And you can guess by that number from 211 that there are a lot of these around hundreds and thousands of them that are visible. And they are associated with stars that are forming. Now that star itself is not visible here. It's still blocked out at the center. So we can't really see the details of what's happening there. However, what we know is that jets of material are being expelled by this star as it forms. And those jets, you can see the material expelling out there in bright red as those as that material expelled at very high speed strikes material in the interstellar medium it causes it to glow. So we're seeing all those regions where material that has been expelled from this forming star is able to strike into the interstellar medium and cause that to glow, which is what we see as the Herbig Aro object. Now what is actually happening here is a good question. And what we're looking at is do, do stars always create these type of jets or are they only associated with certain types of stars? And that is still a good question. And what we can happen is that a star can still be spinning too fast. So as the gas cloud contracts down uh, to form a star, it can be spinning too fast. And one hypothesis is that you could use this jets, the jets of material being expelled out that you could re then reduce the amount of spinning and allow the star to continue to contract, forming that star. So that is one thing that is being looked at as a way to be able to explain why we see the jets here in this. Now this is an image from the James Webb Space Telescope looking in the infrared. Infrared is great for studying star formation because there is a lot of dust around and the longer infrared wavelengths are better able to penetrate and give us a view into these regions of star formation. So much better than we'd be able to get with a telescope using visible ordinary visible light. So those longer wavelengths give us a chance and give us to look in and see what is going on and hopefully better understand and better refine our models of star formation that might produce objects like HH211. So that was our picture of the day for September 19th of 2023. It was titled HH211 Jets from a Forming Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be another star's planets. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.